Do you ever feel like you're just not good enough? Like you just feel like the world is kind of looking down on you and you just feel like, wow, everybody else can do so much more than I can. And, and you just feel very incapable of doing many things. So in today's video, I want to discuss five points or five reminders on why you are actually good enough. And you know what? You may be beating yourself up a little bit and you might be better than you actually think. The first reminder that you're doing to yourself is that you're comparing yourself to others. Now, obviously one of the main common reasons why people don't feel they're good enough is because they compare themselves to others. And thanks to the modern world with social media, you know, you're scrolling through the Instagram feed, you're scrolling through Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever it may be, you're seeing all these people achieve all the different things in life. And then here you are feeling like, oh, I'm stuck. You know, I'm not doing what this person is doing. I'm not doing what person A is doing, right? But here's the thing that you're really forgetting, right? People post what they want others to see in social media. You don't know what they're actually going through in real life. You know, especially with your 500 or 1000 followers, right? You don't exactly know everybody's stories. Now, those people might have hardships of their own. And, you know, you kind of just put them aside because all you see in social media is them having a good life, you know, getting a degree getting a car getting a house but you're not seeing the struggles as well it's important to remember that everybody's unique and everybody faces hardship as well so but keep in mind that you should also have things that you should feel good about right whether it's something as simple as you knowing how to do a certain skill or whether it's you achieving something in the past the second reminder i want to remind you is that everybody has their own set of timing now i know a lot of people have the mistake saying like okay by 18 you know i have to graduate high school i have to graduate college by 22 and you know i have to get a job by 23 right that's not the case for everybody imagine if everybody just follows that path and how like monotonous and boring the society would be right there's no variety right there's a reason why you see college students who are 30 35 years old right there's a reason why if you look at presidents kennedy started at 43 and joe biden started at 77 right everybody just has their own set of timing there's no specific path that everybody has to follow so don't bum yourself out if you feel like a failure and you, and you didn't fit a certain timeline to graduate or to achieve something just because of a majority of a society does so right you have your own problems you have your own obstacles to face and you're doing a good job of dealing with your own stuff first rather than trying to rush everything and eventually not having a good outcome right the most important thing is to give yourself time and you have to be patient right just because something's not working out right now doesn't mean it's not going to work out in the future so it's just a reminder that everybody has their own timeline that's an illusion and a false standard for a lot of people who thinks that their timeline is a cookie cutter of another person's timeline reminder number three is that you're setting unrealistic expectations for yourself now again here i want to take an example of you know being fit right let's say you want to tone body muscles and you want it within a week and and, you know obviously that's very very hard to gain a very toned body in a week honestly it may even be physically impossible right but you're giving yourself unrealistic expectations and by the end of the week you're like wow you know i don't have a six pack i don't have a toned body a strong muscle i must be a failure i must be not good enough for this right and that's completely wrong again especially with social media right you're scrolling down you're looking at everybody post their success stories and you're like oh wow i'm a millionaire at age 19 i'm a millionaire at age 17 right and you're thinking to yourself like wow you know i'm not a millionaire at 22 therefore I am a failure and I'm not good enough again you're setting very unrealistic expectations here you have to remember if you want to set a goal you better make a realistic expectation one that you could keep track of your progression of and make sure that it's a good enough goal but it's still within your reach to actually reach it so that way if it ever falls short or you feel like you need another year or another two years to reach it you don't feel disappointed because it's still a realistic goal reminder number four is that you forget that making mistakes is normal now I know I've mentioned this in the past where you learn from your mistakes but many people who make a mistake especially for their first first time in terms of doing something they realize that they're just not good at it and they're just not good enough to ever do that ever again right i know people in the past who try to learn how to drive or who try to make their own business right and they failed the first time let's just say they failed miserably they lost like you know a couple thousand dollars in terms of making a business or maybe they got in a car accident the first time they drove right and then you know they made their first mistake and suddenly they're like all right you know what i'm not good enough and they just kind of stop there right that is a big mistake that a lot of people make and a reminder to tell you that you got to keep trying again right for me personally i know i've made different side businesses and side hustles in the past i've made a couple here and there and then you know i don't make profit i lose money and i close it there but i still feel good enough for myself to keep trying and make another business right try to reach a different audience try to sell different products right mistakes never define our worth as a person but instead you should view mistakes as again a learning opportunity and you should also congratulate yourself for trying something or taking a risk and you know what you failed but that's good because you don't always succeed at everything and it should be a motivator saying like okay you know what i gotta pick this back up you know i made my first mistake but let's Let's go at it again you know that's always a good mentality to keep in mind and last but not least number five is to have some self-love for yourself people don't feel good enough because they just simply don't love themselves right i know that there are different hard times where you regret not doing something or you feel like you're just kind of stuck and feeling sad and feeling down but just by doing so you're actually focusing more on your flaws and your shortcomings and you're kind of just putting everything aside and you're forgetting everything everything great that you've done in your life you need to remember your strengths and accomplishments like i said everybody has definitely done something in the past whether it's graduating high school 
people graduating college, you know, through hard times, through financial hardships, whatever it may be, it's still a good pat in the back to remind yourself that, you know what? I did this, right? At least I wake up every day. I take a walk around the park. I try to be healthy. I try to eat healthier. And that's all that matters, right? You don't have to be the healthiest person. You don't have to be the most athletic person. But the moment you recognize your own worth and your own value, that's the moment that you could actually do a 180 in your mindset. Maybe I am taking good care of myself. Maybe I am going to succeed in this business because I'm so hardworking. I'm so I have this drive in me. I have perseverance. And now you suddenly start feeling good enough. Now, with that being said, I understand that, you know, situations like this happen in life. But but again, hopefully these five things do remind you because you are good enough and everybody is good enough to do something in their own ways, in their own special, unique ways. And that's what makes everybody and the whole society just very unique in general, because everybody has different experiences and different things that they're good at. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.